Coyote's Crusade. The cluster of dilapidated buildings where Coyote told you to meet her appears to be the remnants of a public housing project. The buildings look like a cesspool filled with human debris. You find her standing with Paco on a street corner, eyeing the roofs, the doorways, the windows. Despite his attempts to engage her, Coyote barely says a word as the three of you weave your way through the tenements. She walks purposefully, her new cyber hand flexing open and closed with each step. It's unclear whether the action is voluntary or not. You circle around the back of a building, and Coyote jumps up, grabs the bottom rung of a fire escape ladder, and pulls it down. Without a signal, she starts her climb towards the roof. Paco looks at you worriedly and starts up the ladder. Continue. Thanks for... Uh, Coyote, thanks for meeting us, Flandry. I owe you one. I figured you could use the backup. Yeah, you never know what, what sort of firepower to expect in one of these BTL squats. She brightens. Oh, hey, listen. I got good news for you. You know Sam's sister, Jessica? One of my contacts found her for me while you were on your way here. I called her and asked her to meet you at the Union later today. Hope that helps. Good job. Nice. Thanks. She looks at you, her scarred face soft. At least I can do. All right, let's get this done. My cousin, Gino, should be in one of the squats past that door up ahead. I, he I hear there's a whole lab set up in there. From my experience, there's usually a lookout watching for cops outside and a guard at the door inside. Like I said, don't know how much firepower to expect, but these guys are nasty, so stay on guard. I just want to get in, grab Gino, and get out. Right behind you, babe. Let's do this. <laughs> Although, he's, if he's got eight charisma, he probably has some sort of, like, booming, godlike voice, you know? <laughs> I'm right behind you. Alright, let's see what... Let's see what they've got, what they're packing. Alright. He's got, um, baseball bat and a, uh, Uzi 3, no armor, concussion grenade, basic med kit, advanced med kit, meanwhile, Coyote has, um, Benelli Raffaello shotgun, Ares, remember I said about Ares being a big arms company? Yeah. Ares Predator handgun, some med kits. Concussion grenade, smoke grenade, con again concussion grenade. The concussion grenades thing will come will actually kind of come in handy. Yep, check it out. Yep, eight charisma. <laughs> so I, I I assume this isn't like this this all this gold around him. This isn't the the game interface. This is like an actual golden halo that travels with him wherever he goes. Willpower three, body four. Strength 3, close combat. Ah, oh, he's pretty handy with that submachine gun. 5 quickness, 3 range combat, 3 submachine gun. Alright. Spend some karma. I know they're not terribly common, but I kind of expect somebody who looks like him to have a sword. Like who? Paco. Paco. Really? I don't know, he's dressed like the, um... You've played Saints Row 2, right? Yes. He's dressed like the Oh, like, like the Ronin? What were you yeah. gonna say? You're right, he is, kinda. Yeah, the gold and the... And the biker jacket. Yeah, yeah, you're right, it does kinda look like that. Let's see here. I gotta bump my quickness up to five. I'm gonna and I'm gonna put intelligence up to five because that's like what affects your drone, if your drones basically. All right. Might as well save just in case this goes horrendously pear-shaped. I don't expect it to, but. All right. 
That's an impressive looking doorman they have there. BTL Clucker. Oh. BTL Clucker. The orc looks twitchy, his eyes rolling in his head. He scans the three of you, looks past to see if there are others, licks his lips, and nods throughout as if going through some internal checklist. Hoy! Hoy! How you doing? Good day for a trip, ain't it? Coyote, she leans in, whispers in your ear. This guy's a clocker. Trades work time for chips. Part salesman, part lookout. Probably has a signal device for the guys inside. You want to go on a ride? You sell BTLs, right? He grins a lopsided grin. Oh yeah, chummer. Oh yeah. Better than life. Definitely better. Dream chips. Mind benders. Sim stim. Sim sense without peak limits. High octane intensity. Yeah, the thing, sim sense without peak limits. Peak limits are yeah. safeguards built built into other into other virtual reality that prevents it from overstimulating you basically BTLs don't ha have that de have that oh, don't have that so they can go up to dangerously high amounts of like, stimulation what kind of rides can you go on what kind of rides can i go on we got it all all of it we got it all yeah what you want to do you want to do some crime you want to be bad we can hook you up don't roll that way want to be a hero be a hero we got fairy tale Jack Chumbers, love, you name it. You can slag and frag to your heart's content. That's the real thing, right? Slagging and fragging? Don't matter what the trip is as long as there's slagging involved, right? So they go on fantasy trips to kill people. Um, well, I don't know if they meant. There's all there's there's all sorts of different like virtual scenarios you can do. Because the, the, the way they're made is like they actually they like they they have something that like will like record a person's brain states, right? Right. As they're doing whatever, and then that's like sort of what they play. It's like a recording they play back to you. And like legal versions of Sim stuff, there's like, they're like, uh, like they're like Sim Sense, like people who are like equivalent of actors who are like can be quite popular. And then right. and, and then illegal ones they have worth like there's like stuff like uh, Sim Sense snuff chips, or BTL snuff chips. So like if you want to like experience real like actually murdering someone or being murdered, you can. Oh, oh, there she is, yeah. You do snuff, too. Coyote's eyes are hard, her pupils tight little pinpricks of hate. You do snuff, too, don't you? Clocker looks around, more nervous now. Maybe, yeah, maybe. For the right price. You can feel it. What it's like to die. What it's like to kill. How does this place operate? How do I get in? That's the best part. The best part. It's a lab. They test the new stuff here. The hottest dreck. You can place a special order and they'll make it happen. You buy a pass card from the guy at the door. He'll get you in and out anytime you want. Then you can buy a... Beetle. I assume that's some sort of drug... Electronic drug paraphernalia. Beetle and slot right there. Our guys guard you while you're chipping. Safest way, chummer. Safest way. Don't you think you're hurting people selling them this dreck? His eyes stop rolling. He's focused. On high alert. You want to step back off of that? You want to step way the hell back? This is sprawl biz, chummer. It's the biz of the people. And by the people, for the people that shall not perish from this earth until it dies of chip overstimulation, I suppose. I may have embellished there a bit. Okay. <laughs> it's for the fragging people, so slot off with that unless you're looking to get hurt. Guess I'm just guess I'm just looking to hurt. Punch him. <laughs> Glass jaw. Uh, well. I like the scream. And you punched him from pretty far away. Yeah. I've got force powers. <laughs> All right. But uh, see a lot of uh, a lot of graffiti. Oh, this concerned woman. This is actually kind. This is like kind of genuinely fucked up and sad. Remember what I said about how they. Like, they actually record people's brain states experiencing things to, yeah. you know, then reproduce as a, you know, in chip format. All right. Concerned woman. The woman is probably in her 30s, but hard times have aged her. She looks at you with concern. Don't do it, friends. Don't slot that dreck they're selling. BTLs are killers. Theirs most of all. Sound like you know from experience. She pulls her hair back to show you. No implant. You know, it's like, you know, it's electronic, so you need something to, like, plug it into your nervous system. Right. Then her mouth tightens and her eyes well up in tears. I do. I know. Lost my husband. Lost my son. My daughter. They use her. To record. 
Tears stream down her face. What kind of guards do they have on this place? She looks around, frightened, whispers. They're serious. This place is backed by the Yakuza. Japanese Mafia. Oh, man. How many and what kind of firepower? There's a guy on the door. Charlie. He sells the passes to get in. He's not tough. Blind in one eye. There's another five or so wandering around. Two of them are bad news. Covered in magic symbols. Mean. Coyote. She's amped. Ready. Five or six? It's not so bad. We have surprise on our side. Do you have a pass card to get in there? No, but Jamal has my son's card. Took it off his... Took it off him when his brain fried. Jamal's down the hall. Don't know if he'll give it up, but that's between you and him. Any chip heads inside the lab? Yep, all day, all night. And they can be dangerous, too. Chip heads, dangerous. Once someone's chipped, they can send them any program they want. Make them do whatever. Turn them into whores, killers, anything. Yeah. You know, the downside of having, you know, an interface that, that lets people just send transmissions right into your brain is that they can send transmissions right into your brain, so... <laughs> We're looking for a kid named Gino. Know him? Who doesn't? He's here all the time. Gino's a clocker. Trades his time for chips. Like their little errand boy. I saw him go in there this morning. Hasn't come out. So I imagine he's riding a dream chip. Got to go. Yeah, like I said, there's some... Yeah, there's some seriously fucked up stuff in this universe. It's very punk. Jamal. Jamal has the look of a long-time chiphead. Emaciated, hollow-eyed, but hungry and desperate. Here. I hear you have a pass card. I hear you have a pass card. Give it to me, or I want to buy your pass card. I hear you have a pass card. You're right. I got a few. I sell them at a discount. Charlie charges 50 million for them, but I can get you three for one, 100 million. I was thinking 75, pay, or walk away. There might be another option. Who knows? Let's see what's in here. This, this appears to be some sort of, like, altar or something. Yeah. You know what I've never understood about the steampunk setting? What's that? That, like, ev like ve all the other punk settings, mm -hmm. you know, cyberpunk, traditional punk, is very, very much like the stuff in this universe. Where it seems cool, but on the surface. Mm -hmm. And I'm not very familiar with steampunk fiction, mm -hmm. but steampunk always, like, to me, has seemed like less of this kind of social disorder. Um, it varies. There's a lot of... It, it's a pretty variable... I'm not super familiar with it, but it's... Part of the thing is that after cyberpunk became a genre term, people... It, it kind of became this thing where people would just sort of affix the suffix punk to, like, sort of weird genre mashups. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, there's, like, you know, cyberpunk, steampunk, diesel Cyber punk. punk. Yeah, a lot... It's sort of... It's it's sort of it's kind of become it's yeah it's kind of a catch-all suffix for just like weird genre almost. But it it very some steampunk is pretty dark. Others others not. But yeah, cyberpunk is pretty much always dark almost almost by definition. I mean, yeah, it's usually like fairly dystopian or borderline. So, all right, Charlie. Charlie's an orc with an expression of boredom and boredom and one milky eye. He drones through a standard pattern. You need a pass? 50 million each. 150 for the lot of you. They'll let you come and go as you please. You can chip in there and we'll keep you safe while you ride. PTL chips are separate costs. Last about three hours. Prices vary. Buy those inside. I can buy... I can pay that. I can sucker punch him in his blind eye. If I had strength four, I could fix him with a stare and say, I don't think we need passes, do you? Or, remember I, I boosted up to Charisma four? Yes. Charisma four. I want to take a look around first. If the selection's good, we'll give you 200 million on our way out. His good eye twitches as he thinks. Yeah, sure, that math works for me. See you on the way out. Alright. We're gonna shoot up the place. Keep on moving. Cross the bridge. There appears to be a large pentagram painted onto the wall. 
on top Where of I'm... a on top of a, a like, badge. police badge. Yeah. Uh, I think it says Lone Star on there, so some, some sort of, like, anti-Lone Star. I, I, I guess that's the, the, like, that's the equivalent of, like, fuck the pigs or whatever. <laughs> Dislike. Oh. Please. Alrighty. Oh, I can't remember the song. Damn it. <laughs> 